How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to a review on the channel. Yes, EA have given us a play tonight, and have given us something else. Team of the Season voting. Team of the Season begins next Friday. You guys know what that means for the channel. Team of the Season, in, in terms of content, it's extraordinary. It's going to be everywhere. Reviews, team reviews, literally reviews out the kazoo. They're going to be absolutely everywhere. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that, and drop a subscription. Click those notification bells on as well. But today they dropped a flashback Miranda. So we've got to play the review. It's a shame he's a centre back, but lads, with a chem style anchor, he goes to a 98 rated centre back. And with a shadow, he goes to a 97 rated centre back. I want to see if he's as end game as that does suggest. And that card is Flashback Miranda. You can see the card on your screen right now. It looks very, very impressive with 81 pace, 92 defending, and 92 physical with 84 dribble and 79 passing, and the 56 shooting. So, lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. Bring that hype, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here, and drop a comment, lads. Are you going to do this card? It's so close to team of the season now, we can nearly taste it. So, we'll be seeing high rate cards like this all over the shop, all over the shop, and for me, he links in the David Luiz, he links in Alexandro, he links into my icon goalkeeper, he links into my Brazilian midfielders, he links into my Neymar. You kind of get the idea here where I'm going. So I've got the links for him, but if you don't necessarily need these cards, it, it, it's, uh, what is it, an expense that is not needed? It's like unnecessary. It's an unnecessary expense right now to do this SBC, but as it stands, he's 140. It's not bad for a 97 rated centre back, is it? Or a 98 rated centre back with chem styles attached. And he's 91 right there. But lads, it's his leagues. It's his leagues that's very hard to um to kind of partner players up with. But his nation is very good. Lads, let's stick him into a team. Let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. He's into a team. Now I did say link wise, his league wasn't the best, but it does give you some strong links. Amongst the Brazilians, you look at like the likes of Paulino, you swap them rounds, strong link right there. So he is capable of giving you those strong links, also into uh, Hulk and Talisca, I do believe. But apart from that, it's very, very limited. Uh, this is a team that we're going to rock today and see it's sword in the back, it's sword in midfield, uh, and it looks sword in the attack as well. And uh, in terms of these games, I think I'm going to go into foot champions as well. But he's got medium high work rates. Love those on centre backs, it's very, very good. Medium to medium is good on centre backs too, especially if your partner is medium to medium too. And he's six foot one in terms of height. I always thought he was like six foot four, six foot five. Uh, what's his jumping like? It is 99. This should be so aerial dominance. It should be ridiculous. Right foot primarily two star skill moves, three star weak foot. Doesn't matter for a centre back on this game. As for the attributes, I've stuck an anchor on him, and like I did say, takes him to a 98 rated centre back in the rating per position, which I believe. If I have a look at it now and stick an anchor on him, it takes him to a 97.6, so it's rounded up to a 98. But that is absolutely sensational because it basically maxima ma maximizes or maxes out his defending and physical. It's his stamina on the lower side, but normally with centre backs, stamina it doesn't mean too too much. In terms of acceleration, 78, 83 should be good enough for this game. And if it's not good enough, I will suggest a shadow for this card. Uh, in terms of shot power, it's 79. So inside, inside the area from like a corner or something, it's just try and bang it. But obviously, he's not going to get into those areas too, too often. Uh, his short pass and long pass looks absolutely tremendous. For a centre back, that is very, very good. Of course, on centre backs, you're looking for me. I, I look for reactions composure as well. It's 98 and 99. Uh, respectively, he's got 87 ball control. He should be able to trap the ball very, very well. And dribbling of 82, 75 agility, 70 balance. His turn won't be the best, but I'm not here to dribble out with the centre back. It's just whether they can like turn in game and follow the runner and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be looking out for. He's got 93 inceptions, 87 hit accuracy, um, 93 defensive awareness, 93 uh, in terms of slat stand tackle, and 99. In terms of slide tackle with the chem style attached, it also goes to 99 stand tackle, 99 defensive awareness, 97 head accuracy, and 98 exceptions. He's got 99 jumping, 95 strength, and 99 aggression. This card looks absolutely crazy. In terms of traits, what do you have? Um, dude, I was waiting for it to load in there. He's got no traits whatsoever. I was actually waiting for the traits to actually load in, but look at those statistical layouts. Looks really good. It does look really good. I'm a bit concerned about the balance agility kind of combo with the acceleration, but I'm not too concerned about it. It doesn't like scream at me saying, don't do this card, don't utilize this card. It looks like a very feasible card on this game and a very usable card at that. Uh, his partner will be Davin Louise. Like I said, say we'll play in put champions as well. He's going to play playing centre back, not going to be playing right striker or in, or in goalkeeper or anything like that. He's going to be playing centre back, and I'm going to go into champs as well. Lads, let's get into the games. 
Dude, Miranda looks like an absolute giant in the back. He's got white boots on as well. I'm noticing him a mile off. Looks like an absolute giant. If he marks that run of Eusebio there. Let's see if I can close it down. Hey, his agility's not that bad. Do a great long legs for the challenge as well. I'm very, very happy with that. As Ozil gives the ball away. But this is going to be a very tight match. A lot of defending to do. Nice. He's mopping up right now with this Miranda. Oh no. Dude, he's there again. It's just like, an like not an invisible wall. He's an impenetrable wall. Gonna go down that left side. Miranda. Couldn't get there that time. Sandro. David Luiz is there though. Oh, no. Ooh, great by Lehman. Oh, missed that challenge completely. And he's missed the run completely. Dude, that ping! The ping of dreams, man! What a ball that was! Oh, no, if this country... We nearly scored from that. The ping of absolute dreams by Miranda. Dude, look how fast he's getting back into position, lads. Look, look at him down the middle. Dude. Here he is again. I want to kind of go on a run with him. That'll do, man. That'll do. A little cross back to him. Takes the touch. Miranda! Oh, -ho -ho! Ooh, he nearly scored. Pen! Oh, what a pen! You know, you know what I'm going to do on the pen, right? I'm going to put the, the pens with 55 penalties. Jeez, look how big that circle went straight away. And he saves it with his toes. Jeez! Never take penalties from Miranda, boys. Ping again? I mean, why not? Dude, he spreads it like butter across breads. Edge of the area. Oh! oh. How am I not scored? Now I have. Oh, hey! Fredo, boys! Dude, the pings of Miranda. Next level right now. Go on. Dude, Miranda's a... Dude, he's, he's ir irremovable right now. Dude, look at the... Nah, linesman. Don't mess with Miranda, mate. He'll take your socks off. Good ball. This will be the biggest test so far because this guy's team is nuts. Miranda's just... Stop messing these tracks right there. Another ping. Dude, he's passing is crazy. So there we have the last for another review on the channel. I've got to say Miranda was the same as that Chinese Super League badge. He was fire. It was absolute nuts. At centre back, he's got those long legs. And I called him long legs in the review, the, the gameplay clips and stuff like that, because his leg span, it's just, it's like he's all legs. It's legs up to his shoulders and then it's just heads. It is absolutely crazy. But the ball doesn't go through his legs because he's in a removable wall. He's just like a wall and he blocks off a lot of stuff. So in terms of all rating for Miranda, he's going to get a 9.5, which I feel is fully, fully deserved. Fully deserved. He's a great centre back on this game. And I reckon, and this is just my personal opinion, he's better than David Luiz. But at this stage in FIFA, with Team of the Season being announced for next Friday, you need to pick and choose, like, normally. You need to pick and choose carefully the SBCs in which you do now, because you might want to save coins up for the Team of the Season, which could be higher rated. Obviously, Miranda, at this stage, getting this card, will most likely not be in Team of the Season whatsoever. So uh, that's something you've got to consider as well. But this card, lads, he's a great center back on this game, and uh, he can definitely utilize him in center back and utilize him well. And he's going to be an asset to your squads, which is great if you're on a Brazil team. If you're on a Brazil team, or you run an icon team and you're looking for a centre back, Miranda is a great, great choice. So 9.5 as well. I'll give him a run over his pros and cons in just a second. As for value for coins, 9.6. His value right now is like 140 uh, going on. 150 on the PlayStation, I do believe. So it's 140 on the Xbox, 140 on the PlayStation. Give or take 10k on either console. Uh, in terms of that, I reckon it's value. Uh, I do reckon it's value. You're going to see uh, a lot of cheap centre-backs on this game. You look at Polenta. Polenta's a very cheap centre-back on this game. And you could definitely utilise him. Um, and you can do that across the Wii and do stuff like that. But this centre-back gives you that something a little bit extra. And that's what I love about this card. I really do love about this card. So 9.6 is what I do give him in that category. And 
Alchemy is fully, fully worth it. In terms of the enjoyment rating, 9.0. 9.0, because what he was doing well was recycle possession really well. Winning the ball back instantaneously and using those long, long legs. And again, those leg span of his is just like, wow. Just, the pins, the absolute pins, they are incredible. And he does intercept a lot of the ball, he tackles a lot of the ball, he's very strong, he's very aggressive in the challenge, his tackling is fantastic, and he's aerially dominant as well. So if a cross comes in, bang, it's out of the box every single time. And in terms of the status for foot champions, if you can, start him. He gets a strong link into Paulino. So if you've got like a goalkeeper, uh, and you've got like a Brazilian left wing and say like Neymar, you've got to get him in a 4-3-2-1. Uh, Paulino left centre mids, Alexandra somewhat of a Brazilian left back, and then at centre back you've got Miranda for that strong link to Paulino. And you just need like an icon keeper, and uh, or, or a Brazilian keeper, and like a Neymar Brazil soft link into Paulino, and you're good to go lads, you're good to go. So um, yeah, I would say he was a starter. On off the bench, he'd be able to see a lot of games, Hell, I even reckon as CDM you'd be able to see a lot of games. This card is absolutely phenomenal. And um, for his price, I'm really, really surprised. But I'm not surprised at the same time because of his league. In terms of games played, he played three, he scored zero. Nearly scored one. You would have seen that during the clips. And clean sheets, he got one. And that was the middle game, which he got an 8.0 in. Got 7.3. And a 7.7. I think I lost one game over the course of the three matches. And I believe like none of the goals were his fault as well. In terms of price, 140. His name is Miranda. He's from Sunning. I think it's Sunning. Uh, Joangsu Sunning. Yes, it is. And um, the CSL leagues. And in terms of pros of his cards, you got the pace, which can be favouring hands for the shadow chem style. Takes him a 97 centre back, of course. The tackling. Absolutely phenomenal. You would have seen that during the clips. His strength is there. It's, it's always there. It's prevalent at all times. And his aggression is very good in the challenge. Also, his passing. This lad has an absolute ping on him. You see a ball, right wing, left wing, anywhere on the pitch. Ping it every single time. He's got an absolute ping. The only kind of... Um, kind of I found with this card was his footwork. And I'm not talking about doing like 58 skills in a row. I'm talking about controlling it and then... Uh, um, so it's like a turn to like pass it to a left fullback, a right fullback. Basically, what you got to do with this card, get the ball, pass the ball. Don't dwell on the ball. He's got good ball control, but he lacks, uh, lacks a lot of the balance. So off the balance with his long, long legs, kind of stumbles from time to time. So just watch out for his footwork on this card. I'm not saying he should be like 99 dribbling or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? In terms of traits, he's got zero, 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 zero. He's got nothing whatsoever. Over 100k. Sergio Ramos, I think, is a better centre back than his cards. Boateng, I believe, is a better centre back than his cards. And then you probably got Miranda. Of, of course, you got like Team of the Years and stuff like that as well. I'm not talking about Team of the Years. Uh, Miranda comes in number two. Davin Louise, number three. Uh, I, I reckon he's better than Davin Louise. And the under, the under, in, in, the, in the, lads, the under 100k bracket, uh, Miranda, nobody comes close to him. Nobody comes close to him. Passing. For a centre back, truly tremendous, he gets an 8 out of 10. Shooting, he's getting a 4 out of 10. Dribble, he's getting a 6. And the physicality, it's 10 out of 10. The stamina, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it in the slightest. Skill was 2 star, weak foot 3 star. Medium high work rate, 6 foot 1, and he is right foot primarily. But I've got to say, the 6 foot 1 is deceiving. He seems like 6 foot 5 in game, it's nuts. Uh, key pro will be the tap, and the key con will be that footwork. Best chem style. Look at this, it's nearly 99. Uh, rating per position is 98 for a centre back, 93 for a CDN, 91 for right back, 88 for right wing back, and an 83 centre midfielder. And this is all with the anchor chem style applied, so that's rating per position uh, with the anchor chem style applied on the card for the stat increase and stuff like that it does give. But lads, it's going to be it for the day's review. I hope you have enjoyed the return of the reviews. I see a return of the reviews. We've literally had nothing to review for the past few days. So, uh, again, it hasn't went away or anything like that. So we just review players when players are there to be reviewed, like Miranda today. So, hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, leave a like on the video. Drop a comment in the comment section below. It could be anything. What do you think of this card, lads? What do you think of this card? And squad reviews. Thank you for your support of those who have supported that series over on the channel. Uh, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot that you guys are supporting other content too. So thank you very much for that support in the squad reviews and the player reviews. Lads, thank you very much for all your support. And I've spoken about your support quite a bit. But honestly, it means a lot to me. It really, really does. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the video. Hope you comment on the video. Hope you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will catch you all next time.